Hi, in this video I show you a very simple script that can make an enemy follow the player. The enemy is red and the player is blue in this case. Kind of homing enemy. Ok, here is my project, which I have been creating for several videos by now. You can find links to previous videos in the description. So here I have a character and an enemy. In fact, it's a pretty simple task to make this enemy follow the character. This script will help me to do so. Here are some variables. In start method I get a rigid body component and I find the game object which has the player script attached. This game object will be the target. I'll attach that player script to my character later. Set move speed and get local scale to face the enemy towards the direction it goes. In fixed update I move the enemy. First I get direction to player and then just give a velocity towards the player. Pretty simple. And in late update I face the enemy left or right depending on where it goes. That's the script. I drag and drop this script to enemy. To make it move I have to add a rigid body to d to it. I do so and set gravity scale to 0 so the enemy will not fall down. The final step to make my enemy move towards the player is to drag and drop player script into my character. This script is empty by the way, no special code there, just default lines which are created along with the script. Let's hit play and check it out. Enemy follows the player, but here is one little issue. The enemy goes to the lower part of the character, but not to the center of it. This happens because of fact that I shifted character's pivot point to the bottom of its sprite in the very first video. I did it for the sake of animation jittlelessness. I hope this word exists. At least it does now. Enemy's pivot point is in the center. So simply saying, pivot point of enemy goes towards player pivot point. That's why I have this issue. There are a lot of ways to fix it. What I came up with is to add a child game object to the character and give it that player script. So I remove player script from the character, add a new empty child to it, name it as player and position it right about at the center of the character, here. And I drag and drop player script to the player game object. So the enemy will follow this game object now. Let's check it out. Nice. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you next time.